Hey guys, Ryan here, and welcome back to the 20th episode of Minecraft Desolation. And we have done 20 episodes already. I mean, it doesn't feel like I've done that many, to be fair. And also, at the same time, it also feels like we haven't even made much progress on this map, to be fair. Because, there's, I mean, there's still so much more to do. But, today, in this episode, I wasn't really too sure what to do. But then, I remembered that there was a little something that I wanted to do a few episodes ago. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be leaving the base behind for today. And we're going to be making our way over to the highway. Or should I say, under the highway. Because today... We are going to be fighting the boss down in the underground lab. And you guys will see the underground lab in a moment. Of course, for those of you that don't know what it is anyway, I will be showing you very shortly. We just have to make our way over there. I brought our car jacks, which are just levers, really. So we are going to make our way down into the dark we can hold a torch to make it a little bit brighter you can see the sun shining through might be a little bit laggy here because it's dark meaning zombies will spawn so if we make our way i then heard a noise wasn't too sure what it was but i heard something either way and apparently oh yeah we already came over here and searched this um or showed off this area so as you can see there's all these crosses on the signs which mean that there is a boss here so what we're going to do is we're going to go oh not the torches we're going to go ahead and place that and pull it by accident apparently we're going to take a few of these torches because we're going to need these so we're going to place one there and we'll take this one because it doesn't matter if the corner's dark so we're going to make our way down here it's going to be a little bit dark down here hopefully we can get some torches place. The good thing is, if you stand on these pressure plates, they do light up the general area, but they don't light it up permanently, you see. So, oh, there's a zombie. And a creepy sound. Don't know if that picked up. I'm not too sure what picks up anymore. There are zombies and that. The reason there's zombies, there aren't actually zombies spawning up here, I don't believe. There is a hole under the map right about here. And that's where the zombies tend to spawn. So there is an office here. It's a little bit dark. I apologize for that. We've got a bunch of armor stands here with some items in them. We've got another torch. We will take that, of course. There we go. And then we'll stand over here and we'll get this other torch as well. That's pretty good. So we've got some more torches here for lighting the area up. There doesn't seem to be much. Just dyed leather clothes by the looks of it but let's make our way into it we'll pull all these levers actually because what they do is when you pull these not only do they open the doors but they also light up the lights and did you just hear that i don't know if that picked up i just heard a villager because there is a villager down here i just punched the mic sorry about that or the mic on my headset so i apologize about that if that picked up but, like I said, there is a villager down here. There's also some iron armor by the looks of it. Nice. Let's see what this is. Okay, guard boots. So, yes, like I was saying, there is a villager down here. So, this is the only villager on the map. And I mentioned that one, I believe, a few episodes ago. About knowing the location of a villager on the map. This is where that villager is. So, what have we got here? Some riot... What did it say? Riot sus suppression clubs. I see... And let's put on these clothes, because why not? Um, some shifts for teaching a lesson, apparently. We've got a key, we've got a guard helmet, and we've got a book. So, we will go... Is there anything behind these before we check? I don't think there is. There's not. Okay, well, let's make our way out of here. Let's read this book real quick. Director Marlin has specifically told the security staff to confiscate any and all weapons from the prisoners. We need them all alive for testing to be successful. So they were testing on some prisoners here. Interesting. Okay. Anything in here? Doesn't seem like it. Anything behind this painting? You never know. This is a prison after all by the looks of it. So anything in here? Any chests? Anything down the toilet? 
I do know there are chests in here, and I knew, do know there is a secret behind the paintings. I don't remember which one it is, though. Actually, I think it's this end one, so we will check that. But is there anything? Anything down here? Any chests? Nope, there's skulls, but no chests. And there's some um, soul sand and a wither skull. I mean, can we spawn the wither? I mean, I've spawned the wither on here before. And it didn't actually do anything. So, oh, ha, see? So it wasn't the end one. I was actually wrong about that. But yeah, no, um, I've spawned the wither on here before. And nothing actually happened. So, I don't know if you're meant to summon it or not. I mean, I did and nothing happened, like I said. So, I'm not too sure if something's meant to happen or not. But... Either way, nothing happened, and there is a chest up here with a skull. There's a glass bottle, a key, a wooden shovel, and a book. Let's see what this book says. It says, it's called No More, and it says, I can't dig anymore. Too tired. Guess that's it. Better take the poison. The effing devils don't beat me anymore. What? Better take the poison. The the. Okay. Is it meant to say, better take the poison so the devils don't beat me anymore? I feel like that makes more sense. I sp yeah, that, that makes more sense to me than the the, I suppose. Should we see how far away? I don't, I think this guy wasn't far away from the surface. Look at that. If the guy had dug one more hole or one more block of dirt, he would have been out. That is how close he had got to escaping. And he gave up too soon. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. So, yeah. So, we've got another book there. So, there was a guy trying to escape. And there's a chest here. Anything good in it? A shiv for teaching a lesson. Not really anything we need, to be fair. We can make our way up this ladder. We could pull this. See if there's anything in here. Any chest? Anything down there? No. Doesn't look like it. It's getting a little bit laggy here, I apologize. Not too sure why that's happening. Anything down there? No. I'm not too sure, like I said, which rooms actually have things in them. I know that some of them do. I do know that there is some stuff down the toilet sometimes too. I'm just not sure which ones it is. I don't I don't really memorize that. So another shiv was in there was in there. We're not gonna take it though because we don't need that. Um there's lots of skulls, so it appears that a lot of people were locked in their cells and died in them by the looks of it. So I'm not sure how that worked, whether they did some kind of lockdown, I honestly don't know. But let's move on to this room. Let's see. Um nothing there. How about the room next door? Cell R2. Okay, let's see. Anything? No, but we did just fall into the toilet. I see. Okay. We'll go into this one. There's a chest with another shiv. Ah, there we go. That's where it was. Final Hope, this book is called. Okay, let's read this. As part of my final effort to stop the damnation of the human race, I have given myself up to this facility to scatter the parts of Phase 2 in the plan of that damn corporation. I see, corporation. I see, so there was some kind of plan here. They were doing some kind of experimentation on the prisoners here. A cure, maybe? Or perhaps, I just had a thought, perhaps this is the place where the virus was made. I mean, that would make sense. Rather than maybe they told people they were trying to stop it, but maybe they were the ones that started it in the first place. I mean, that'd make sense. It'd be a bit of a plot twist, even though we don't quite know who actually owns this facility. So that is the question. Are we going to find out? Probably not. Are we going to try to? Of course. Doesn't mean that we are going to succeed, though. And also, I just got a, I just got a little bit of a reminder. The time of the, this recording, it is Wednesday, and basically, 
I just wanted to do a little thing because I remember every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, there is this couple on YouTube that make... I tend to watch a lot of, like, Walking Dead reaction videos. I'm that kind of person that watches those. I watch a lot of YouTubers. I watch Katie O'Shaughnessy. I watch Seska Says. I watch, um... Um, I'm trying to think, Nikki and Steven, um, or Nikki and Steve, whatever. I also watch Duo Reacts, which is Lacey and Steve, and they upload today, Lacey and Steve do, on Duo Reacts. Go check their channel out if you haven't already, they make some great content. And, honestly, I am just so excited for their videos. It, it's crazy. Half the time, it's one of the things that get me through the week, which is really cool, because I do really enjoy their content a lot. So I just, it was just a reminder, I mean, it's Wednesday, meaning a video is going to come out soon, and I just got excited and figured, hey, why not mention it? So, what's in here? Surgical tools, riots, uh, suppression, why did I struggle to say that twice now? Suppression, um, efficiency 5 on a leather tunic. Not too sure that that's going to be very useful, but we've got a surgical tool, I mean, I'll take it. Shears with Unbreaking Free, better than the ones we've got. And this is the villager, Subject 9. And it appears that most of the other subjects died. So, this guy made it though, so we will probably get this guy out at some point. And maybe even put him somewhere, I don't know. It's going to be quite difficult to get him out of here, to be fair. Is there anything in here? Another riot suppression club? But nothing else too good. Nothing we really need. If we ever run out of shears, I mean, we can come down here. But now, this is Director Marlin's office. This is where we spawn the boss. Director Sasha Marlin. Let's see. There's a chest behind here. Here we are. So, there are three books in here. It's nighttime above ground right now. But let's read these books anyway. And... Let's see. Okay, so we've got Director's Note, New Co-Workers, and Thesis. So let's read the Thesis first. Okay. The primary purpose of Evolve is to advance the human species into a new age by inducing planned evolution. So to me, that says that they are the ones that started all of this. I don't know about you guys or what you think that means to you, but that's what it appears like to me. Now... This one is called New Co-Workers. Okay. Sasha. Or Sasha. A key member of my staff is leading a project that is right up your alley. I've told him that he and his team will be relocated here in a few days. You need to be on your best behavior. This project is going to require teamwork. You are both important to this project, and despite what the ethics boards will tell you, this project is huge for humanity. Evolve will usher in a new age for humanity. So yeah, they were definitely doing some kind of experiments here that didn't end well. So what's this one? Director's note. Okay, let's read this. Subject 9 has reacted poorly to his sample of the chemical, labeled EC-402. We found something about that at the military lab. His results are far worse than any other, including body disfigurement and loss of cognitive thought. Further testing must be done to confirm the effects, but Subject 9 is the only one that's still alive. So that's a little bit strange. I mean, that's the last book, and that means that we are going to press this button to fight the boss real right quick here in a second. So let's press this. We'll press it now. The good doctor is ready to operate. Okay. So we're going to try and fight this guy without dying. I don't know how strong he is. I don't think he's overly strong, but I don't think he's weak either. So... Oh, he's in the office. Okay. I was confused there. I was like, where is he? But he's right there. He is a zombie villager too. So we can cure him. But for now, we're just going to fight this guy. We will come back and perhaps cure him in the future if you guys think that's something we should do. How hard does he hit? Whoa, he hits hard. Okay, we're going to need our shield here, to fight this guy. He has fawns on his armor too. Okay, this is going to be a bit more difficult than the mare. Wow. Okay. This guy is fighting back. Oh! Okay, we killed him. Alright, so what did we get? We got a bloody scalpel and bloody surgical socks. Fair enough. I know you can 
get um, more of the armor that he was wearing. He was wearing a helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. He also had the bloody scalpel, and he did have something else on him, weapons-wise, that he does drop. So, outside of the episode, I'll probably kill him a few more times, try and get every single drop we can get. But it appears that we did make a little bit of progress here in this episode. We learned a few things today, and I believe we learned that the virus was actually created right here in this very lab, and that Subject 9 reacted strangely to the dose of the virus. I believe they called it EC-104 or something like that. I think that's what it was. EC-402. He reacted poorly to it, yet he is the only one that's still alive down here, which leads me to believe that he survived it. So, I don't know. I suppose we'll continue looking for some more books and see what we can find out, but I know this episode has been quite short compared to the past few, but if you guys have enjoyed this episode, make sure you stick around for the next one, which will be out very, very soon. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!